Welcome everyone to the broadcast table. Chris Weber to my right, Greg Anthony to my left. I'm Kevin Harlan and David Aldridge on our sideline. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. They've got Kobe. Malone is out there with Chamberlain. Then it's Jordan and it's Stockton in at the one. And for the Timberwolves, Robertson is out there with Dwayne Wade. Then it's LeBron James and it's Duncan and it's Abdul Jabbar. And at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Opening day, Chris. In your experience, um, which types of teams tend to start the season well, started strong? Two types. One, the team that has been forgotten about and left out. The team that had a disappointing season the year before, and no one knows the pain uh, that they went through all summer long, waiting to get back to that moment. So they've been incentivized for, for half of a year to come back and say, wait a minute, it's our turn now. And those teams are sneaky under the radar. A little chip on secondly, their shoulder. And, yeah, yeah. And, and, and then secondly, I would say veteran teams. Teams that know what they want. Teams that are focused and saying, wait a minute, we know this is a marathon. Let's take our time, warm up, and stick to the principles right away, and we'll end up in the right place later. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves getting the first points of the ball game. LeBron outside. Shot clock at six. Back to Robertson from past the arc. Malone with the rebound. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Here's Kobe. Tim Duncan with the rebound. And here's Duncan. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolves. Wade passes to Duncan. Chamberlain with the block. And the quickness off the floor, the insane reach. Well, one of the greatest shot blockers you'll ever see. Michael Jordan on the wing. Wade is covering. Jordan's shot is off. Very aggressive defense to prevent the easy lay -in. And Wade slams it in. You see how aggressive Wade is when he's penetrating? He's incredible at dunking it down off the drive. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. And again, the Lakers, no good. They are 0 for the game thus far. 0 of 4 here. Still looking for their first man. The 3. John Stockton with the rebound. Lakers have gone 0 of 4, missing their first four field goals. And Jordan has it in the corner. Drills it from outside. They were pretty tight to start this game. Started out with four straight misses. Maybe that one will get them going. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thanks, Kevin. Greg Popovich and I did speak a few minutes ago. They won the first game against this team, but he is not taking anything for granted. He wants his players to be even more assertive offensively this time. He said, I think we can dictate things a little more. Maybe force those guys into defensive matchups they dislike. Find points that way. Well, we'll see if they can do that and go up 2-0 tonight. Kevin, back to you. Appreciate that, David. Interesting report there, uh, GA. The team focused on what it can do offensively. Bottom line, in this league, you have to score points. It sounds like they have a plan. AC will be important. You'd like to see them move the ball and concentrate on taking good shots. That one goes. Count it. And I'll tell you, the combination of agility, wingspan, and stamina, very difficult to keep Wilt from scoring off those misses. 
Now here's James. Shoots over Kobe. Gets the 14-footer to fall. Poor design there defensively. They, they know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. Well, yeah, that's one of his go-to spots. I mean, you, you have to pressure him in that mid-range area. Here's Malone. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Chamberlain, no luck. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend in the rim. Looking at the last game for the Lakers, it was a loss to Houston. Now here's Stock. Pass to Chamberlain. And oh, what a play. He just palms the block. Popped up there for Wade. And it's Wade with the jam. An elite passer in his position. I mean, James always seems to make the right decision. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they might be pressing a little. I mean, forcing some things. And this is a good opportunity to calm everyone down. While we have the time, let's take a look at last season's best transition team. The Lakers second. I mean, this is such a tough team to deal with. You see the numbers. They would just push the ball at every opportunity. Chamberlain dishes to Stockton. And the foul on Dwayne Wade. That is his first foul of the game. Now off the inbound. And the rejection by Abdul Jabbar. And beyond the obvious physical skills, Kareem just has a great understanding for the game. Times his move perfectly to get that shot. Now here's Robertson. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Wade, good. Oh, great ball movement there. Here's Stockton. Malone outside. On the pass to Jordan. Makes it off the glass. Jordan's got five. A high percentage look for Jordan. It has every move you could ask for in the painted area. Floats one. Kobe with the steal. Stockton outside. Down low. Malone. And it's Malone finishing it off. Yeah, you, you got to love the recognition there. Stockton just so unselfish, always looking to find the open man. Pass to Robertson. Over Stockton and Oscar Robertson, the bucket on the assist by Wade. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Stockton against Robertson. Kobe, that's for two, and it comes off the front of the rim. And already, they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backfield. Malone with the block. Wait against Jordan. He dishes it to Stockton. Passes it to Malone. Pops it up for Jordan. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Abdul Jabbar. James wide open. Malone with the rebound. Uh, a little surprise he took the jump shot with nobody around him. He could have attacked the basket. Nice step back to get it off. And how about that exhale there? Finally gets one to fall through six attempts. Robertson kicks to James. Wants to get it to Duncan and does. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Chris at that free throw line. There's a lot of chirping, isn't there, uh, among the players around the lane. <laughs> it just seems like their mouths are always moving. A lot of chirping. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, for the ones that are sucking air and, yeah, and are tired, <laughs> yeah, they're talking to each other. It's the only real break in action. And there's times, too, you get to see what has happened a few of the plays before, so you get to bust the guy up with some jokes or just flat out uh, talking trash. And sometimes guys are saying, uh, I hate to tell you this, but sometimes the guys are going, man, listen, I'm so tired. He's going to make this free throw. Don't, don't, don't push me too hard on this. I got to get, get rest for a couple of seconds. <laughs> they, they say that, huh? 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially to the guys. I, I remember saying that to Ben Wallace one time. He was my rookie, and I was like, listen, man, you know Legs is going to make this free throw, man. Don't, don't come on. Don't push me all the way into the basket. What was the time. response? Uh, he pushed me into the basket. Time out. Time out. Time out called Sorry. the Lakers. Last time they met was in Los Angeles. They shot the lights out from deep. Really stretched out the defense in that one. Well, nowadays, the three-point shot is huge. They were fired from outside. A moment now to see the stats for Wade. Some last season stats for him. He put up about 15 points a game last season. Four assists and four rebounds. Fantastic totals for him across the board. I wouldn't be surprised if he keeps rolling. I think if you talk to anyone on this team, they believe in his abilities 100%. Los Angeles shooting their first free throws here tonight. And looking at last season's numbers, down below 70% as a team from the line. That free throw missing. Trip coming up empty, missing both. Uh, not what you expect out of him. He was uh, due to cool off a little, I guess. Thomas against Curry. Curry with the steal. From deep, sinks it. What range from outside? Wow. You almost can't worry about the roller the way you worry about Steph. And he's going up for the LU. Out of bounds. Timberwolves ball as Minnesota keeps possession. And here we get a chance to check out the story on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Last season, he played outstanding. Fourth in scoring, seventh in rebounding, and a top 15 ranking in blocks per game, supplying that backline protection that is so key to a great defense. And clearly one of the dominant scorers we have in this league is top five ranking last year. Puts him right there in the ranks of the elite. Baylor with the steal. Outside Thomas. From outside the arc. A three-pointer is right on target. And the Timberwolves lead by seven. And remember, Havlicek was a highly recruited quarterback, so you see his passing ability on that one. And that one, good. Curry's got five now. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Huh, it's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses. That doesn't constitute defense. Here's Thomas. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Attacking the rack to great effect. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Elijah Wan's checked in for Abdul Jabbar. And it's Garnett in for Tim Duncan. And then for Los Angeles, Robinson's checked in for Chamberlain, and it's Leonard in for Kobe. Free throw no good for Thomas. And without a doubt, one of the greatest small men we've ever seen. Zeke possesses the skill and determination to just take over a game at any point. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys, still shaking. Six on the shot clock. Pulls it from 20. Rebounded by the Lakers. They push it up. Four on three. Here's Curry. That's good. And it's Leonard with the assist. Now it's just a three-point Minnesota lead. Oh, probably isn't a better catch-and-shoot player in the game. Steph right on time once again. The Timberwolves working the ball around. Here's Elijah one. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Chris, a lot of teams uh, have players that set exceptional screens. Uh, and that doesn't really show up in the statistics in the pages we get, does it? No, it doesn't. But I tell you what, there was a survey done asking some of the players who sets the best screens, and it was unanimous. It was Mr. Adams out there in OKC. 
not only does he set screens, but when he sets screens, he cuts to the basket so hard that usually he'll get the offensive rebound. That's why he was second in offensive rebounding in this league. But when you talk about rebounding and setting screens, you got to look at Drummond, Al Horford. I mean, some really good guys that'll get you space. Boy, those are good numbers and good, good names you rattle off there. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Lakers trail by four. Irving looking for an opening. Pass to Curry, all alone. And another basket for the Lakers. Oh, he's perfect from the field this quarter. He's giving them the fits out there. Outside Thomas. There's the pass to Havlicek. Here is Elijah. Good D by Giannis. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. Well, that's why he's out there right now. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. Now, here is Havlicek. Following the miss by Giannis Antetokounmpo. And the foul called on Kawhi Leonard. That's his first foul. Thomas against Curry. Pass to Havlicek. Here's Elijah one. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. And the Timberwolves lead by four. And that's the rub. I mean, as good as Elijah one is on the blocks, he can be equally as effective from mid-range. Giannis grabs the miss. And so onto the Kumbo will bring it up for the Lakers. Curry outside. And a great assist by Antetokounmpo as that one goes in. Curry's got a couple of threes now in the first for the Lakers. Pavlicek against Irving. Tries it from 19. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Well, while we have a second, let's show you the list of players who put up the most points last year. Giannis Antetokounmpo, fourth. And looking back, his points per game really underscored the fact that he never took a game off. I mean, one special performance after another all season long. Irving passes to Leonard. Robinson kicks to Irving, passes it to Giannis. Just five on the clock. From 15 feet away, no good that time. And it's the Timberwolves taking it the other way. Yeah, they got that one, but early on, it's it's really been a struggle for them to secure that defensive backboard. Oh, uh, don't forget about this fella for a second. He is the definition of dangerous. Now here's Leonard. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Antetokounmpo can't get it to go. The defense has done a good job of forcing him into tough shots this point. Curry against Havlicek. Thomas gets a wide open look. Have the space there, but it's offline. Wayne Wade, he's been the guy making things happen for the Minnesota Timberwolves. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. We'll get right back to the action when we return. underway so far we'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter and before we move on what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Timberwolves well you can see these guys are unafraid to take chances defensively yeah, it's a gambling style that pays off GA keeping things in disarray for that offense Garnett out there with Elijah Wan. then there's Havlicek then it's Thomas and it's Baylor in at the small forward so that's the lineup for Minnesota Leonard attacking at the elbow, it's Robinson. Lakers working the ball around now. Shot on the wing. A shot by Frazier, no good. Oh, he did everything right there except hit the shot. To the middle. Here's Garnett. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the basket. 
Man, that's a tough call for the refs to make there. I I'm not sure it was on the way down, but that's, that's how they saw it. Lakers trail by five. Frazier outside. Pass to Leonard. Baseline J on the way. Minnesota with the rebound. Garnett outside. Over to the wing. Now the pass to Elijah Wan. Stolen by Robinson. And so on to DeCumbo looking over it. And the three ball is good. Giannis has got his second bucket of the night. I remember when you get in trouble for shooting the three as a big man. Now teams want their bigs operating outside the three-point line. Thomas against Frazier. Inside, Havlicek. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Man, you don't see this fella blow many layups. Not against D like that, anyway. Leonard, the pass to Frazier. Back to Leonard. Pass to Antetokounmpo. He kicks it to Robinson. Elijah Wan with the block. Without a doubt, one of the most versatile shot blockers in the game. Elijah Wan does it in the painted area as well as along the perimeter. Now here's Giannis. Five points in the game. Here's Leonard. Good. Great play set up by Frazier. Leonard's got it all tied up now for the Lakers. It's all about the tail of the tape right there. His size advantage makes that jump shot an easy kick. Here's Elijah one, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That's on David Robinson. For Minnesota, they have made three of five free throw attempts. At the line for two. And the first one drops. First, the common thought is you don't want to be a middle-of-the-road team. You think clubs are too quick now to pull the trigger on a rebuild uh, as opposed to giving some time to what they've got and, and be, you know, more patient? Oh, are you kidding me, Kevin? Don't make me go. I, this is why I need a psychologist because, hey, when I was in Washington, we had myself, Rasheed Wallace, and Juwan Howard, yeah. and Rod Strickland. Like, just, just wait a minute. Give us, give us one year to try. And by the way, the Bulls won 72. We couldn't have won a championship that year anyway. And so, yeah, I think a lot of teams are short-sighted and it's based upon their expectations. And their expectations may not be based in reality. Now, here's Jordan. Here's the teardrop. Tries again. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. To the inside. It's stolen by Frazier. Now the Lakers on the break. Wade against Leonard. That one falls. His second basket of the game. He's now two for three. And busting it up the floor. Leonard showing a lot of energy on the fast break. If there's one thing he doesn't lack, it's hustle. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And here is Los Angeles now. L.A. has gone to three-point range seven times tonight. Knocked down five of them. Frazier kicks to Jordan. Tipped away. Back to Frazier. From deep three-point range. The shot, no good. And it's the Timberwolves taking it the other way. Robertson against Frazier. The 19-foot shot. Robertson's shot is off. The Lakers have gone just 33% from the field in what's been a cold second quarter for them. Just three of nine. Frazier the pass to Leonard. Outside Jordan. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. For Minnesota, they've gone one of three to start out the second quarter. LeBron drives in. That's in, coming off the assist from Robertson. Robertson's got four assists now tonight. And it's Frazier with the ball for the Lakers. Only giving up six here in this quarter. 
outside Jordan. Back to Frazier. The offensive rebound. Oh, how about the deft touch right there, guys? He just guided that ball back up and in. Just a fingertip touch on the ball. Now here's Wade. He's got 11 and stolen by Malone. Michael Jordan on the wing. Inside. And there's Carl Malone on the assist from Michael Jordan. Malone's got the lead up to two now for Los Angeles. Pop it there for Wade. It's tipped. It's stolen by to Takumbo. Last break. The Lakers. Here's Frazier. Finished off the break. And the Lakers lead by four. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a scorer like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. Elijah Wong. And let's take a look now at Kawhi Leonard. Coming off a terrific season, seventh in scoring. And, of course, he's got a nose for the ball. He ranked in the top ten in steals last season. And back to his points per game average last year. He literally propped up the team's offense whenever they needed it. And the Lakers with some changes. Chamberlain's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Kobe comes in for Leonard. And Stockton subbed in for Frazier. And Elijah Wan drops them both. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and it extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter. Malone passes to Bryant. That one's not going to go. Great D that time from LeBron. Dishes it to Robertson. James against Jordan. Kicks it out to Robertson. Lock at six. Shoots over Malone. Elijah Wan controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Elijah Wan's got the game tied up here for the Timberwolves. Such a graceful player. Hakeem is, is right off the ground there for that rebound. And then the skill to send that one home. Los Angeles calls timeout. in for Dwayne Wade. Here's the list of players who have the most steals in the NBA. Fifth Paul. He showed such tremendous defensive instincts. Trust me, nobody wanted him guarding them last year. Bob pass to Bryant. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. The Timberwolves have gone 3-7 shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Paul finds Novitski. Alone with the block. And Minnesota, as it goes out of bounds, Timberwolves retain possession. Jordan against Paul. There's the dish to LeBron. Just four to shoot. Fades and shoots. Rebounded by the Lakers. Malone's got his fifth rebound in this one. And Kobe throws it down hard. Yeah, love seeing Brian just get up and go for it. His leaping ability never ceases to impress. Floats it up for Kane. Kobe with the steal. Jordan. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Chris Paul picks up that one. Yeah, easy call. Elbow, two. Los Angeles shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars jordan makes the players around him better mentally in terms of effort and in terms of their performance duncan he's checked in for dirk Nowitzki.
good on the second free throw. Timberwolves trail by five. Ball outside. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. Los Angeles has gone one and two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Stocked in dishes to Jordan. Over Robertson. Los Angeles with another miss. They haven't needed him as much as I thought they would. The ball's knocked loose and stolen by Jordan. Passes to Stockton. That drops and it comes off an assist from Jordan. Stockton's got the lead up to seven now for Los Angeles. And so James will bring it up for the Timberwolves. Kicks it to Paul. Back to LeBron. Pass to Duncan. Six to shoot. Robertson with it. On deep. Can they get it? Here's Elijah on. Chamberlain with the block. Stockton. Outside, Kobe. And taken away by Paul. LeBron James on the wing. That one off the back iron and out. Lakers leading by seven. The pass to Stockton. There's Chamberlain. Covered by LeBron. Duncan with the block. And that's part of his game. Love seeing Duncan just stand up there to reject shots. Does a great job of utilizing that wingspan along with his timing. And the basket by Elijah Wan. Oh, I like the bounce pass. There. He's getting creative. Stockton against Paul. Stockton passes to Chamberlain. Stockton outside. And stolen by James. And here we go. Fast break. James has got it. The shot by Paul. Nobody around. The open jump shot off the mark. L.A. is gone. Five of eight from three-point land. Fifteen points and a deep ball for them tonight. And he comes up with the deuce. And the Lakers lead by seven. But, but here's the problem. Now, no one's got the strength to move Will off his spot. And no one has the height to challenge the shot at its point of release. James drills the baseline jumper. James has got four points now in the quarter. And despite the hot start from beyond, they've gotten away from shooting the triple. Bob pass to Bryant. And the rejection by LeBron. James is just a sensational shot block. You better check your rear view mirror. He's relentless. Ball kicks to Robertson. We've got 118 left in the first half. Shot clock at six. Down low. No good from Duncan. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. Well, that's why he's out there right now. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. Bryant. They grab their own miss. And Bryant slams it in. And of all the attributes, one thing that sometimes gets overlooked with Chamberlain is the court vision. Makes a great read there. Now here's Paul. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's James. Nice four for seven for the four with that shot. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Stocked in dishes to Jordan. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. The first one fall. Didn't have a free throw in the first quarter, but you can see he's starting to play with more energy now. He has a tougher attitude. Whole new look on the floor for Minnesota. Robinson's checked in for the Lakers. Curry comes in for Stockton. And so Jordan nails both of them. 
Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Got a piece of it. And then Jordan slams it in. Oh, my goodness. The, the creativity, the athleticism of Michael Jordan. Jordan against Havlicek. From deep three-point range, no good on the last second attempt there. Yeah, lockdown D. When Jordan really gets after it, his athleticism can be overwhelming. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. Back right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. The first half was all about Stephen Curry. He had 12 points and one rebound. And taking a look at the Lakers, Shaq, what'd you think? Well, they really dictated the pace of the game with their transition game. They got out on the break every chance they had, and the time they could push the tempo, they did. And a lot of times, they kept the defense scrambling like eggs with the cheese and apple juice. Kenny, let's get your input on the Timberwolves. Well, look, they turned the ball over way too much. You can't do that in the NBA. Teams are just too talented. You can't give them that many possessions. Don't give away the entire game just by giving up an extra few possessions here and there. These guys need to come with more precision in the second half. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. We played through the first half. Plenty. Of All right, let's have a look into this this box score. Once again, Team Dan, Minnesota getting out to a flying start. But uh, it's the second quarter causing the yips. Uh, notables in the box score. Notable here that Kareem hasn't actually got a point. He's got five big rebounds and four blocks, including one where he literally ripped the ball out of Wilt's hands. That was... Uh, that was uh, incredible. We'll just say incredible. Uh, other notables in the box score for Minnesota. Nobody really doing a, a, a job from the bench. Oh, wait. Well, Hakeem. Hakeem's the only one off the bench that's really done anything. 11.6 rebounds, a couple of blocks, really putting his hand up to try and get Team Dan's consistency in second quarters up. Uh, Dwayne Wade, once again, on the offensive end, doing what it, what D-Wade does, and that's uh, putting points up. 11 points, one assist, one rebound. LeBron, quiet, very quiet, as, uh, as the punter has mentioned in chat, really needs to get more involved. Eight points, one assist, a steal and a block. Really sort of an underperformance there by the King. And Tim Duncan, very quiet, four points, five rebounds. But he has been, the big fundamental has been consistent in getting nice, easy double doubles. Uh, we'll probably see another one today. On to team ads and Gary Payton, keeping the bench nice and warm. On the bench, not a whole lot happening. Johnny Stockton doing what he normally does, and that's just facilitating. Kawhi Leonard has been quiet. Wilt, not really troubling the scorers too much. 4.6 rebounds, a few blocks. But off the bench, it's been Giannis with his five points. Carl Malone with, uh, well, that's a starter, but Carl Malone with 6.7 boards, doing a lot. Very active in today's game, and he hasn't actually performed overly well through the series. So it's good to see the mailman getting up and down the floor and actually putting in. Kobe, four from 11 shooting. 
really trying to force it early and it hasn't paid off well. Nine points and two steals. Let's hope for a better second half from the Mamba. Michael Jordan stepped up a little bit towards the end of that first half. 10 points, two rebounds, three assists, and a couple of steals to uh, to, to get team ads, get their, their noses in front. All right, Chef Curry, six minutes, 12 points. He lit the Lakers up and got them out of the blocks, we'll say. It was a very slow start in the first quarter, but Stephen Curry coming out five of six from the field, really lighting a fire to, to get this team up and about and now leading going into, into halftime with a nine-point lead. Big stories so far, fairly evenly matched. Just a, a few discrepancies, I guess. The uh, the three point shooting, courtesy of Stephen Curry. We're looking at sixty two percent from the field, team ads versus thirty three percent from team Dan. Shooting in the forties. Look, there's no real. Nothing overly separating these two. I think this is going to go down to the wire. Let's get back to the action. Let's get started with the... the basketball, though, left wow. in this one. Really an incredible game from Stephen Curry. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And, and as they can't slow him down, you know what you do? Keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them. This is the right game plan. And happy you can join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Lakers leading by nine. Here's who Greg Popovich is starting in the second half. They've got Malone. Michael Jordan is out there with Stockton. Then there's Chamberlain, and it's Bryant in at the small forward spot. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Robertson passes to Wade. That's good. And Robertson with the assist. Robertson's got five assists in the game. Wade is super efficient in the paint. He's clever at finding ways to score around the rim. Now here's Bryant. Goes up to the strike. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. Two shots. Foul. Two. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. And the first one at the line is good. Free throws good for Bryant. Timberwolves trail by 11. Wade feeling it out a bit. Pass to Duncan. Five to shoot. Shoots over Malone. Duncan can't hit. Lakers leading by 11. And Tim Duncan gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. And if you're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third. And here's Chamberlain. Over Abdul Jabbar. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. I like what he was trying to do, shaking the D with the fadeaway. Tough look, though. Robertson kicks to James. He dishes it to Duncan. Basket good. Duncan's got six. Such a creative player. Look, James is fantastic at beating the floor and finding his teammates. Duncan against Malone. Michael Jordan on the wing. 
fade away. And again, the Lakers no good. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. No, you're right. He'd take that 10 out of 10 times. He's not going to miss many of those. Now, Jordan, after Dwayne Wade's three-pointer that didn't go. And they pick up two. Stockton's got the lead up to 11 now for the Lakers. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. Oh, I do too, Greg. You have to go to your best scores. I mean, it's a smart strategy, and so far, it's paying off this game. And James gets it to go. James likes pulling out the floater from time to time. Such a soft touch close to the basket. Stockton passes to Malone. Bryant with it. And stolen by LeBron. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Let's go. Chamberlain with the rebound. Chamberlain got eight rebounds in this game. And Jordan has it in the corner. Malone trying to break free. And there's Michael Jordan, the assist by Stockton. Stockton's got his fifth assist in this one. Timberwolves trail by 11. Robertson against Stockton. Here's Wade. Goes back up. Chamberlain with the block. Stockton right side. Drills the three-pointer. Stockton's got his third basket of the night. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now here's Wade. He's got 13. The shot's good from Robertson. I love how Wade actively looks to find the open man. Look, he's effortlessly exploiting any holes in the defense. To the middle. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Pointer. Here's Duncan and a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Duncan's got four this quarter. And Duncan just superb when he gets in close to the basket. He has a number of moves to choose from and that soft, delicate touch near the rim. Now here's Malone. He's got six. Bryant in the post. Working on James. And it's Bryant missing. Pass to Robertson. Chamberlain with the clock. Stockton from outside. Good on the three-point shot. Stockton's got two now from beyond the arc in the thirds for Los Angeles. So the Timberwolves call their first timeout. He's checked in for the Timberwolves. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Antetokounmpo's checked in for Malone. Leonard comes in for Kobe. Irving's checked in for Jordan. And it's Frazier in for John Stockton. And you can't give James any breathing room to pull up. If you do, you're done for it. And it's Frazier with the ball for the Lakers. They've led by as many as 14 points. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Oh, oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Here's Wayne at Dujabon trying to free himself up. Shot is good in the Los Angeles leads. Cut to just 11 on the basket from Wade. Up top, Frazier. Covered by Robertson. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. 
Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Now here's Robertson. Passed away to the paint. Here's James. And finished off by LeBron. That's just crazy athleticism from James. His vertical is through the roof. Frazier the pass to Antetokounmpo. Yep, that one goes. Giannis has got nine points. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. <laughs> yeah, they're pouring it on right here. Trying to give the opposition no light at the end of the time. Well, you like guys who can work that in-between area. Really keeps the defense honest. Oh, yeah. Flexibility is crucial. You have to be able to take what the defense gives you. Timberwolves trail by 11. James looking it over. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. The Lakers have gone 8 of 12 from the field since the beginning of the third. Right side out of the Kumbo. And there's the pass to Chamberlain. Six on the shot clock. Knocked away. Robertson with the steal. Down low. And Nowitzki with the stuff. Love when Nowitzki finishes with the dunk. Showing some outstanding lift on that one. And the dunk by Giannis. Timeout, timeout. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Minnesota calls timeout. Yes, there is that transition from being a player to retirement. It can be a challenge for some. What were the keys that you found in succeeding at that? Well, well, first, I think it's adjusting. Adjusting to the fact you don't have the same schedule. Uh, you, you don't have a physical release uh, that you used to have. Uh, you miss the locker room and the camaraderie with all the guys. So you, you miss the culture. But secondly, I would say take all the lessons that you learn. And, and for me, this was big uh, from sports and, and use them in business. So uh, in business, I became a rookie in other areas. I found a Chris Mullen type in business. I found a Latrell Sprewell type guys that would mentor you, guys that you would play on their team. Humble yourself, get back to it. Get to practice, get to meetings early, uh, stay at practice late, stay at meetings uh, and be the last one uh, that leaves. And just, just take the culture of basketball, infuse that athletic personality into the personality of whatever you go into next. And uh, you can use those tennis to have a, to have a wonderful retirement and, and really enjoy it. So uh, for me, it, it's been awesome. And by the way, I've had twins. And so uh, since retiring, and, and that'll keep me uh, keep you just as busy as, as it was you were playing. So <laughs> you, you can find ways to keep that same lifestyle. That's right. And some sound advice, too. <laughs> the first free throw is good. Nowitzki hits them both. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Giannis outside. Back to Curry. Giannis dishes to Robinson. Good work defensively by Nowitzki. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. And the jump by Giannis. I mean, he could wow you with his passes. I mean, that's as good of a pass as any three-pointer Curry's going to hit. Thomas passes to Garnett. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Lakers leading by 11. Irving kicks to Leonard. Dishes it to Curry. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Here's Robinson. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. So it's the Timberwolves now. Outside Thomas, and there's the call on Curry. That's foul number two for him.
to the inside. Stolen by Robinson. That's going to be an easy bucket if he doesn't get his hand to that pass. Well defended. On the wing, Irving. And there's the feed to Robinson. And Thomas over to help. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. You too. And the Lakers have possession. Curry dishes to Irving. Shot clock at six. Giannis passes to Robinson. Rebound, Minnesota. Nowitzki's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Inside. Outside for Thomas. Pass to Baylor. We've got 128 left to play in the third. Nowitzki, that's for two. Kept alive, Minnesota. Well, that's made a huge difference in this game, if you ask me. Their offensive rebounding has been sensational. We are finding the weakness in the defense. That's the court savvy of Thomas at work. Now here's Curry. 12 points for him. Ryan is checked in for Kawhi Leonard. One oh six left to play in the third. Outside, Kobe. Nowitzki against Robinson. And there's the block. Just stops it cold and takes possession. Here's Thomas. And the lead is down inside single digits. Thomas got seven points. And though Thomas is great from the perimeter, he has a toughness and a willingness to go in amongst the trees and, and kind of mix it up. And it's Irving missing. Now here's Nowitzki. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolf. Eight-point game. Havlicek, the pass to Thomas. Back to Havlicek. Over Irving. And it's Havlicek missing. His offense has been non-existent tonight. It's really hurting him. And the dunk by Giannis. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Here's Havlicek. No good there. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers going into the break with a 10-point lead. And they're winning the turnover battle very easily in this one. And we'll be right back after this. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feat. I mean, well, if you're the coaching staff, I mean, you're pumped up. This highlight will not only make it on the TV, but it'll make it into the film session. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. They've got Havlicek. Duncan is out there with Garnett. Then it's Baylor, and it's Thomas in at the point. So that's the Timberwolves five. Back to Baylor. Duncan trying to break loose. The shot is good by Baylor. If there's ever a successful shot that still gets your coach mad at you, that's the one. Giannis outside. To the middle. Kobe, no good. Timberwolves trail by eight. Havlicek outside. Over Jordan. And it's Havlicek missing. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. A nice passing here by Los Angeles. Passes it to Jordan. Six to shoot. Basket number five goes in. He's now five of 12 from the floor. And we've seen it. He can do this all game. Jordan with a great burst there to get the finish. Stolen by Robinson. 
Curry against Thomas. Here's Bryant, and he slams it down right on top of him. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It goes on Giannis out of the Kimbo. And Garnett, a vocal leader, always trying to psych his guys up and get into the head of the opponent. And the first one drops. Minnesota making some changes. James comes in for Baylor. And Dwayne Wade subbed in for Havlicek. The Lakers also making some changes. Chamberlain's checked in for Robinson. And Stockton subbed in for Steph Curry. That one is no good. And, and you know, the improvement we've seen over the last few seasons with Giannis it is incredible. I mean, he just keeps adding to an already superstar level game. Lakers leading by 11, and it's the Lakers on the break. And a wide open look for Jordan, and a great assist by Anadokounmpo as that one goes in. And was it really a long distance shooter in college? Jordan really worked on his range ever since being drafted. Now here's Wade. And the rejection by Giannis! Pass to Kobe, outside Jordan. With the teardrop, rebounded by the Timberwolves. And you know, Greg, this last season, Giannis improving on his rebounding and his passing. Career highs for him in both of those areas. If he ever adds a deep shot, I'm not sure how you guard him at that point. Abdul Jabbar is checked in for Minnesota. Robertson comes in for Isaiah Thomas. Free throw good from Wade. And the veteran Wade. Man, does this guy get old? He continues to get it done. One of the best shooting guards of all time. Giannis outside. The pass to Kobe. Lays it up off the glass. Bryant's got four points now in the quarter. All right. Good anticipation on the feed. Uh, he, he knows exactly where to go with that ball. Minnesota calls timeout. Where their goal was to limit their turnovers. I mean, they've wasted way too many possessions with giveaways. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Nick Nurse told his team. He is not pleased. He told them they have to make a push right now. He said, look, we got to make a move, or I've got to pull the plug. Pretty blunt stuff, Kevin. Back to you. Stockton passes to Jordan. Now here's Giannis. Out to Kobe. Shoots. And a great assist by Adetokounmpo as that one goes in. Adetokounmpo's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Popped up there for Wade. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Shoots the three. On to Dekumbo. No good. He's done almost no damage from three-point range in this game. No threes in this half. No one in the first. Here's Abdul Jabbar. That shot is off. Los Angeles leading by 15. Inside, Bryant drops in the layup for two. Bryant's got 21. And Stockton is simply one of the best, especially when it comes to finding people on the floor. Duncan right side. Great tee that time from Giannis. Here's Los Angeles now. They're on a 13-4 run right now. Stockton's shot is good. 
Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Kobe against LeBron. Again with the block. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. And the Lakers making a change here. Malone's checked in. Wade against Jordan. Rocket six. No good from Wade. Here are the Lakers. They're on a 15 to 4 run right now. Malone outside. Back to Stockton. Rebounded by Abdul Jabbar. Seems like he changed his mind halfway through the layup. Tried to go to something else and, and flat out choked it. Yep, it counts. Ten points for Duncan. Yeah, you got to honor Duncan from the mid-range. When he's got space to shoot, he does not hesitate. They get a hand on it. Jordan, the pass to Kobe. To the inside. Here's Chamberlain, Abdul-Jabbar with the block. Robertson against Stock. Robertson kicks to James. Wade up top over Jordan. It's on target from the high post. Wade's got nine points here in the second half. I just love watching Wade take over. He's a skilled combo guard who is exceptional at taking what the defense gives him. Here's Jordan, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Free throw good, Jordan. Timberwolves trail by 18. Poked away. Stolen by Stockton. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. Minnesota again turning it over. And here's what the schedule looks like for the Los Angeles Lakers. On Sunday, they'll be matching up with Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. Then on Monday, they'll be matching up against Mike Conley and the Utah Jazz. Now here's Kobe and the dunk by Jordan. And you know how that play's going to end. Jordan in the air, adjusting effortlessly. Pass to James. Shot to stop the run. They get it again. Lakers leading by 22. Jordan dishes to Malone. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. This last season, the Thunder became the final NBA team to reach an agreement for jersey sponsorships. Have you gotten used to seeing those patches on the various jerseys around the league? You know what, Kevin? I have. And they're not as intrusive as I thought. I was so, Me too. Man, I, Kevin, I agree. I, yeah, I was so scared of this. I thought it was going to ugly up the jerseys and be bigger than the team logo and things like that. But you know how great this league is when, when, it, <laughs> when it comes to getting messages out to their fans and promotion. And so uh, we've done a wonderful uh, job. And uh, actually, some I, I really, really like how they fit the jersey, how the colors matches, and, and the history of the company, actually. So, no, I, I think they've done a great job kind of uh, just making sure it just slides in there, uh, you know, not taking away the shine from the team. He hits the second from the line. And they didn't shoot it very well from the line in the first half, but they've gotten much better since halftime, and it's helped them to secure the lead. Now here's Robertson. Passes it to James. Over Bryant, and LeBron with the basket, the assist by Robertson. 
Robertson's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. Lakers leading by 21. Malone outside. Chris, we read this the other day, the NBA announcing the development of the BAL, the Basketball African League. They feel there's a lot of untapped potential there. I, I would tend to agree. I'm so excited. I already put my name in the hat to go out there and work with and help develop oh, terrific. these kids. Oh, terrific. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. I mean, just think about this. You want to know what type of talent is out there? Um, let's just start with Akeem. Then we go to Matumbo <laughs> and Bede. He's from Cameroon. How about after the Kupo, who has Nigerian parents? And, uh, I, I mean, we, we can keep on going. How about... Abaka help find Siakam. Oh, my goodness. Yes. There's some talent out there, baby. And, yes, I'm excited for the BAL, the Basketball Africa League. Africa, stand up, baby. Timberwolves shooting around 40% from the floor here. Jordan against Wade. Abdul-Jabbar passes to Wade. Shot clock at five. And here's LeBron outside. Connects from three-point range. LeBron's got 19 points. Oh, impossible matchup. You're trying to prevent LeBron James from getting to the rim. You structure your defense that way. And then he does this. It's rebounded by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Abdul-Jabbar's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. And it's Wade with the jam. Wade loves throwing it down. I mean, the D can't allow him to get that type of position. Los Angeles leading by 18. Pops it up for Jordan, and he lays in the alley-oop. No hesitation at all on the alley-oop. Saw his teammate with a pat to the hoop, and bang, lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. Chamberlain with the block, and he recovers it. L.A. has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. And along with the association, we've seen the growth of the G League, the WNBA, the 2K League. Chris, which of those have you followed the most? Well, first let me say I should have been drafted by the 2K League because I'm really not. Nice. matter of fact, <laughs> anybody listening to the sound of my voice, I will beat you in the game, and I'm talking on right now. But secondly... I know you will. <laughs> I love the WNBA from... Lisa Leslie, the Cheryl Scoops, to my girl Candace Parker. Are you kidding me? The skill set of these ladies? Oh, they have game. And I can't say I follow one the most because even the G League and their all-star game I follow. Right now, it's a great time for hoops and all three of these leagues I'm in on. And he knocks down the first one. The agility, the instincts, the power. I mean, James remains a dominant figure on both ends of the floor. So he picks up just one from the line that time. They'll take it, even with the miss. Anything they can do to cut into the lead. But he's having a great night from the floor, and they're going to keep leaning on him, looking to grow the lead. Out to Duncan. Abdul-Jabbar trying to free himself up. Duncan can't hit. Lakers leading by 21. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it, just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Los Angeles. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And as we get set to put this one to bed, a one-sided season series thus far. They've won two straight. And as one might have guessed coming into this game, it was indeed another big game tonight for Jordan. He hung a big number on the scoreboard, and it wasn't just because he was hot. He did it with movement and tenacity. Six on the shot clock. On loads. He's off on that one. And Minnesota will come the other way. Shot and game clock separated by five. Robertson against Stockton. Here's Abdul-Jabbar shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. And you're talking about one of the most decorated superstars in the history of college basketball. But maybe the most impressive feat. He won three national championships and 
Kareem has a way of affecting winning. And he sinks the second. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. It's an 18-point lead. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel <laughs> at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Game two, nowhere near as close as uh, as game one. That was a blowout, an emphatic victory from Team Ads to cement a, a finals spot pretty much with the following game, game three, to be the decider for home court. Whoever, whoever wins game three is going to take home court in the final let's look at the box score and the Timberwolves Kareem second last with the solitary point however seven blocks two steals 16 rebounds his work on the defensive end was spectacular but not enough to overcome team ads LA Lakers Havlicek very quiet in that one Garnett serviceable with a lot of boards Let's get into the key performers for the Timberwolves. And the the top three, once again, or top four, once again, Tim Duncan, another double-double, serviceable as always, with 10, 12, uh, a steal and a block. Uh, Hakeem, great off the bench, 11 points, six rebounds and two blocks. The King, LeBron James, no rebounds for this game, but 20 points, two assists, two steals, and a block. Probably not enough from the King. And uh, the top scorer for, for Team Dan, Dwayne Wade. I think he's performed magnificently through this season, or through this series. 22 points, two rebounds, three assists, although a few turnovers, but he was not the only one. All right, let's take a look at the highlight package from the King, LeBron James. Let's, I mean, let's delve right down. Let's look at this effort from Kareem. Like, he was in the bottom of the box score. Only put the four shots up. But I tell you what. Some of those rebounds and, and some of those blocks. Just, just dominant inside the paint. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the likes of Malone and Wilt and the Admiral getting the better of uh, the defense of Minnesota in the end. Now, Gary Payton getting a solitary minute for team team adds. Dr. J not getting on, not troubling the scorers at all. Another decent little role-playing game there from Walt Frazier. As we look up, Wilt Chamberlain, very similar to uh, Kareem's efforts. Four points, 15 rebounds, seven blocks. It was the Battle of the Giants under the ring, and that was an interesting matchup to watch. 
Malone not doing a whole lot in the second half. Pretty much staying where he did at halftime. Same with Steph Curry, but he's the one that sparked it. Definitely getting, uh, as Punter mentioned in the chat, that Dion Waiters heat check award for sparking things in the first half. Now the Greek freak Giannis, 15 points, nine rebounds, five assists, two steals, one block. He was doing it all and led that second unit quite uh, magnificently. As we go in, Johnny Stockton actually a pretty good game there, 16, 16 points and eight assists. Kobe, a better second half, a better overall second half. 21 points, four assists, three steals for the Black Mamba. But the player of the game, Michael Jeffrey Jordan, doing it all, making sure that Team Ads does end up in the finals. That's right, 26 points, four rebounds, five assists, and two steals to cap off the win for Team Ads. Let's look at the GOAT, MJ. Jordan moments there. Let's uh, let's look at the Greek freak, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Very dominant for this second unit. With the mamba, getting a few points. It's Kobe getting Bryant. A very dominant offensive performance. All right, and the team comparisons. The, the writing's on the wall. The Los Angeles Lakers team adds 111, defeating Team Dan's Minnesota Timberwolves 93. We now have our top two being adds and punter, with Dan now dropping to three wins, five losses. Adds on par with punter at four and three. The next game to decide home court for the final. Take a look at that box score. Another block party with 25 blocks for the game. But what a stat. 17 steals for Team Ads. So some very, uh, very sticky fingers there for the Los Angeles Lakers. All right. Not shooting too badly. 49% from the field with the three-point shooting being a huge factor. 67% for Team Ads, and that was due to Chef Curry in the first half. All right, well, join us. Join us in...